You know, as we start this weekend, this Friday morning, and we find ourselves in the book of Acts in the fifth chapter, there's so many amazing but also kind of astounding things that are happening in this chapter. I don't know if you've ever heard the story of Ananias and Sapphira and how God literally brought judgment to church for those who were maybe promising more than they were producing or not really aligning their character with their profession of faith. But anyway, be that as it may, one of the things I wanna draw our attention to this morning actually comes from the 12th verse. Let me read it to you out of the New Living Translation. The apostles were performing many miraculous signs and wonders among the people. And all believers were meeting regularly at the temple in the area known as Solomon's Colonnade. Here's what I find so interesting. The people of God, they're experiencing so many moves of God. We see God bring judgment in the first part of Acts chapter 5, but also miracles, signs, wonders, and the church is continually meeting together in fellowship. There's unity, there's clarity as to God's standards, but also there's the miraculous. And here's what I'd love to encourage you with this morning as we consider this chapter in the book of Acts. The book of Acts is actually the acts of the Holy Spirit through the work of the apostles and God's people. And God, our great God, he can by his Holy Spirit perform the miraculous, the amazing, that which is truly otherworldly. But for believers, we don't follow after signs and wonders. See, for believers, just like here in Acts chapter 5, signs and wonders follow after believers. God is the one who moves. They, as Christians, they met together regularly, and God did the miraculous. So today, as you kind of get ready for your weekend, I want to encourage you. Make yourself open and available to the Lord. Continue to connect with his people and trust him to do what only he can do. See, as we begin our weekend on this Friday, I wanna encourage you with this simple truth. As believers, we don't follow after signs and wonders. Signs and wonders follow after believers. God does a great work by his spirit through his people who are connecting with him, connecting with one another, and serving him right where they are. So this morning, look to Jesus to do what only Jesus can do. He's the one who rebuilds, he's the one who restores, and Jesus, he alone is the one who can perform the miraculous.